Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this beam and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. This beam has two pointed load of 3 kN and one uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter over the hanging portion of the beam and this is distributed over the length of 6 meter. So this is a simply supported part of the beam and this is overhanging portion of the beam. So we are going to find out the sh sheer uh, support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. And also these length are given for this beam. This load x is at 3 meter, the other load x is at a distance of 6 meter from this end and this load has been distributed over the length of 6 meter so the total length of the beam is 15 meter. Now to start with the support reactions let's consider this is support A and this is support B. So let's suppose that the we take the summation of movement at point A is equal to 0. We can use the three equilibrium equation to find out the support reactions. One is the summation of movement, the other one is the summation of vertical force is equal to zero and the other one is the summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. We can use these three equations to find out the support reactions. But here in this case we have two unknown so we cannot use this equation and we don't do any horizontal force so also we cannot use this equation. So the only way to find out the support reactions here is this one that the summation of moment at any point is equal to zero so then we can find out support reactions. Now let's suppose that the summation of moment at point A is equal to zero so we have to find out the all the moment at point A and let's for sign convention the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So this is will be the R B and this will be R A. Let's suppose these two reactions are acting in upward direction. We don't know that either these are acting downwards or upward, but we assume at this start that these are acting in upward direction. So summation of moment at point A is equal to zero. So this moment, 3 kN creates the moment clockwise direction about point A. So it is 3 and the moment arm is what this is also 3 meter. So this will be 3 into 3. And this 3 kN also creates the moment about point A in clockwise direction. So it will be 3 kN and the moment arm for this is this 6 meter, 3 into 3, 6 meter. And also now this RB creates the anti-clockwise moment about point A. Anti-clockwise. So it will be minus RB into the moment arm. The moment arm for this is the distance from this RB up to point A. So this the whole distance is 9 meter 333. 3, 3. And this distributed load also creates a moment about point A. So it is 4 kN per meter is distributed over the distance of 6 meter. So it is clockwise. It is clockwise moment. So 4 is the magnitude multiplying it with the 6. 6 is the distributed load distance. This distance and multiplying with the moment arm. The moment arm will be the half of the 6 and this distance, this whole distance. So this is 9 plus half of the 6. So half of the 6 is 3 and this 9. So the total will be 12 for this load. So 12 is the moment arm for this distributed load because it, the distributed load, if you convert into point load, so it will act at the middle of this load this distance so the moment arm for this load comes out to be 3 this distance and also this 9 distance so the total is 12 so summation of all moment at point A equal to 0 now by moving this into the right side here we got 9 18 and this comes out to be 288 so RB comes out to be 2, 315 divided by 9 and it comes out to be 35 kN. So RB 
reaction is 35 kilonewton and it is positive it means that our assumed direction is fine so now to find out the ra now we have only one unknown reaction so now we can use this equation to find out the ra so summation of vertical force is equal to zero and let's assume that the upward force are taken as positive and downward forces are taken as negative so the upward forces we assume is the ra and rb and the negative forces are 3 kilonewton 3 kilonewton and this distributed load this is 6 multiplied with 6 because this is distributed over the distance of 6 meter equal to zero summation of all vertical forces and we know that the rb is 35 so moving all this we learn to the right side so it becomes plus 3 plus 3 plus 24 and minus rb and rb is 35 so ra comes out to be minus 5 kilonewton now what does it mean by minus 5 minus 5 shows that our direction of the ra will be downward so we can change this direction and it will be downward 5 kilonewton so at the first we assume that all these forces acting in an upward direction but then this equation shows that our value is negative so our force will change its direction so we change the direction of this force now it is acting downward is 5 kilonewton now to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram first i have to draw its free body diagram let's this is the same beam and this is 5 kilonewton acting downward then 3 kilonewton then again 3 kilonewton then there is upward force of 35 kilonewton and then there is a distributed load of 4 kilonewton per meter and also we know the distance this is 3 meter this distance is 3 meter similarly this is also 3 meter this is also 3 meter and this distance is 6 meter here so this is 6 meter distance now we can draw the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment diagram this will be for the shear force and this will be for the bending moment so this is for the shear force diagram and the unit of kilonewton and this in the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter so these are the reference line now we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram let's suppose these are the zero zero reference and also for the bending moment these are the zero zero reference lines now we know that this load is acting downward 5 kilonewton so it will be negative minus 5 here is minus 5 this will be minus 5 here up to this point so it is minus 5 and then there is no load over the distance of 3 meter so no load means a straight line for the shear force and then there is a load of 3 kilonewton so minus 5 and minus 3 will be minus 8 this is minus 8 again there is no load over this distance so again a straight line and then there is a downward force again of 3 kilonewton so minus 8 and minus 3 will be minus 11 again there is no load acting on this distance of 3 meter and then there is a load of 35 kilonewton acting in upper direction so this is positive because it is acting in upper direction and this is negative 11 so minus 11 acting downward and plus 35 acting upward we get of plus 24 so plus 24 means that it is an upper direction of 24 here 24 because upper the value above the zero line will be positive and the value below the line will be negative so this is 24 kilonewton force so now in this load 
is 4 kN per meter over the distance of 6 meter. Is a 6 meter distributed. So 4 multiplied with 6 equal to 24. So this total load is 24 kN acting in downward direction. So it will be negative. So this is positive 24 and this is minus 24. So it means 0. So we will have a 0 force here at this point. So we can draw this line directly to this because it will move this shear force from this 24 plus 24 and in negative direction up to the 0. So this is the shear force diagram for this beam. Now to draw the bending moment diagram we will take we will take help from this shear force diagram. These are the shear boxes negative, negative, negative and this is positive. These are rectangles so we will find the area of the rectangle so it will be bending moment values. So this let's suppose this is the first rectangle and we will find the area of this rectangle. This height is minus 5 and this distance is 3 meter. This is 3 meter. So the area of this rectangle will be, if I call it A1, so minus 5 into 3 minus 15. So minus 15 is the area of this rectangle and it will be the bending moment value. So minus 15 here, you can write minus 15. Now the area of this rectangle, 8 is the height and 3 is again the distance. So 8 into 3, 24 it will be a 2 area so minus 24 is the area of this box but it will be now added to this minus 15 so minus 15 will be added to this minus 24 so minus 24 we got minus 39 so here we will have minus 39 kilonewton meter bending moment value. Now the area of this rectangle, the height is 11 and the length is also 3 meter. We can see here 3 meter. So this is also 3 meter. So the area of the third box will be 11 into minus 3 minus 33. Now minus 33 will again be added to this minus 39. So minus 33, if I add this with minus 39, we got minus 72. So it will be minus 72 here. Now this are all negative values below the zero. So we will have so we have bending moment of negative. Now this shear force box is a positive box. So it will be added to this negative value. The area of this triangle, will, we will find the area of this triangle and it will be the bending moment diagram for this beam. So the area of this box is let's suppose a 4 and the area of this box will be the half base into height because it is a triangle. So base is 6 meter, is a 6 meter distance and height is 24. So half base into height it means half base is 6 and height is 24 so it is it comes out to be 72 but it is positive 72 because it is acting upward this shear box so minus 72 adding with plus 72 we got 0 so we will connect this with like in this way because minus 72 was this value and we got plus 72 for this box so it is added to the minus 72 and we got zero here value. So we simply draw this like in this way to make the bending moment zero. So this was the way how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram. This line is a two degree line because this is a linear line of one degree. So it is two degree line. Similarly, this is a horizontal line of zero degree. So it is a one degree line. This is also a zero degree line. So this is one degree line. This is also a zero degree line. So it is one degree line. The bending moment diagram is always one degree greater than the shear force diagram. Hope you guys understand. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.